Welcome to training day with Coach PJ. I'm here with Coach Chase, and we're going to take you through the banded dumbbell reverse lunge. So to set this one up, I've got a band here around Chase's waist, and I could attach this band to a rack behind him, or because we don't have a rack, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be resisting him as his partner. He's going to grab a set of dumbbells. He's going to start with his feet hip width apart, right underneath his hips, and then with the resistance, I'm going to be pulling down and back at this downward diagonal angle. From here, he's going to go ahead and do a reverse lunge. Notice in this bottom position, he's leaning forward, so he's got a forward torso angle and a forward shin angle on that right leg. Then he's going to drive that right foot through the ground, and as he steps up, he's going to snap his belt buckle into the band driving forward. So go ahead and do that again. Regular speed, drive through. Good, one more, down, drive through, good, relax. So what we're doing here, instead of a regular reverse lunge where that shin angle would be more vertical and he'd be going down and straight up, now we're changing the, the angle of force application. So by me pulling down and back on the band, now he has to drive forward as he drives down and back into the ground. So this is a great one if you're working with sprinting athletes because it's a lot, mimics a lot more angle of force application for sprinting or for my fighters we're trying to work on driving that foot down and back and snapping the belt buckle through we're also using the band and the band is allowing tension through the full range of motion so instead of coming up and actually having to decelerate his body as he stands up at the top he has resistance the whole time so he can accelerate all the way through that end range of motion and snap his hip all the way through and then I'm adding in the flexion driving that opposite knee through only because that helps if I focus on driving this foot through the ground, driving the other knee through helps to get my hips fully extended and drive that belt buckle through. So we're using this more to develop speed and power. We're only doing five reps on each leg and we're using a pretty moderate to heavy load as well as a good band tension to pull back so that he can really snap his hips forward into that, into that band resistance. So that is the band resisted dumbbell reverse lunge. And this is training day with Coach PJ.